a lot of talk about dollar supportive month end flow and we aren't even closing out the month just yet but that seemed to factor into some of the price action on Tuesday with the buck bid into dips. The pound continued to be front and center with everything coming down to that next wire and everyone wondering if the Prime Minister will be able to figure out a way to achieve what has been dubbed as an exceptionally difficult task in getting her plan approved in Parliament. President Trump didn't do Theresa May any favors either on Tuesday after the President was critical of the deal also adding that it could compromise U.S. UK trade relations. President Trump was also making waves in broader risk markets on his commitment to move forward with the next round of tariffs on China. Economic data was mostly second tier in nature and didn't play a part in the day's price action, while central bank speak was also largely shrugged off. We think it will be interesting to see how the euro responds around the 113 handle. If the single currency shows it doesn't want to hold below 113 against the US dollar, it could set the stage for a much bigger recovery ahead as we suggest in our Wednesday technical piece. If, however, the market establishes itself back below 113, the risk for another big run in the buck should not be ruled out, with the euro capable of extending well below 112.15, possibly down to the 108 area. So right now, a critical inflection point for the euro and for the currency market in general relating to the dollar. As far as the Wednesday calendar goes, key standouts come in the form of the RBNZ Financial Stability Report, the BOE Financial Stability Report, and stress test results, German consumer confidence readings, and U.S. releases that feature GDP, trade, and new home sales. Fed Powell is also on the calendar late in the day. That's all for now.